Tima Danton, the coordinator of the ACPC, I would like to welcome you all to this uh, breakout session. So I, I'm not going to have a speech as I told you this morning. Let's focus. Let's have something very concrete. Let's avoid to complain. Let's avoid to list all the problems that is going on. We always know the problem. Now let's move now to action. And something that is rational, something that you think you can deliver that can be a showcase for youth climate change transformative agenda and development, sustainable development, inclusive and sustainable development. So I think I'm not going to stay with you. I just want to say this brief and uh, uh, let this chair continue. And I'm, I see that uh, you have a communique. I don't know if you want to adopt the communique. If you adopt the communique, we adopt it again, recommendation and resolution as usual. Let's avoid business as usual and let's move to something. Try to see so far what have you been saying, what have you done in terms of youth development and climate change and African transformative agenda and tell us exactly what do you want now? What do you want as a concrete action on the ground and uh, 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 on the ground on, uh, to benefit all the youth of Africa? So thank you very much. Uh, I, I'm going to pass the floor to the chair of, uh, of this meeting, who is Jean-Paul, vous avez, le, vous avez la, 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 la parole. Merci, je vous remercie. <laughs> Let's just see the beginning here, then we'll go to the other one. Okay. Uh, even if he, uh, if already, he already, already left, I would like to thank Thierry, that's how we are calling him as young people, for his introducing world, and also to thank you all again for being here for this session. Uh, we are expecting more people, they are coming, but you have to start the session right away. And the title of our session, as you already know, is Youth Responses to Climate Change Challenges and Opportunities. We have the keynote speaker for the opening of this session, who is Mr. Ibrahim Sisi. He's the executive coordinator of the African Youth Initiative of, of, on Climate Change, AIC. And we have um, many other speakers as well, who are, first of all, Mr. Dr. Landry Ndrico Maigan from Rwanda. He is also part of uh, AYICC and is coming from the Rwanda Youth Ac Alliance for Climate Action. Uh, we have Mr. Maurice Odira representing UNEP Tunza. Tunza is this young platform at UNEP and is also a green entrepreneur and a former youth coordinator with UNEP Tunza. And of course, we have Miss Kiruka Nawemogo, I hope I pronounce it very well, who is executive, executive director of Fresh and Young Brands Development Initiative. She's from Nigeria. And we have, after the keynote speak, uh, speaker and also the respondent session, an um, open floor for question and answers and also comment on the different presentation. And the second session, will be about presentation of best practices on young people action on climate change across Africa. And uh, Mr. Hamza Lawal, who is the information and communication officer of AYICC, is going to start this session. And we have Mrs. Miss um, Andriana Harrison Miura. She's from Madagascar. She's also working with AYICC. And of course, we have Miss Simone Carolisen from South Africa. She is an international climate champion with the British Council. And uh, at the end of this second session, we are also going to have question and answer and comment from the floor. Uh, and the closing remarks will be closing this side event. So without waiting, I would like to welcome and give the floor to Mr. Ibrahim Sisi, the Executive Director Coordinator of AYICC, who is going to deliver the keynote speech, Mr. Sisi. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. John Paul Afana. 
Networking and Partnership Officer of uh, AIC. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me start by recognizing uh, one of our great supporters, friend of AIC, and also friend of young people within the environmental movement in Africa. That is uh, Madam Angel. Madam Angel has been supporting young people within the Tunza program for years now, so I must recognize you, Madam. I thank you for coming. And I also want to recognize uh, all the conference delegates here uh, for coming to this uh, meeting. Uh, you could have been on the other side even where you are here. We thank you very much, and uh, your presence here is honored and welcomed. I will just dive in quickly to the keynote address. And I just want to have a disclaimer that what I'm coming to present is not a, a scientific paper. This is a, the issue the way it is, as those of us involved in the front line and as young people. So that is number one disclaimer. And of course, the second disclaimer is that we don't have the solution when it comes to climate change, youth and development. But what we're doing here is basically to you know, trigger thoughts and also to share best practices. So as you all know, the African Youth Initiative on Climate Change is the biggest youth climate movement in Africa and was formed in 2006 as a response to the, to the international climate call for young people and of course everybody to come on board and reverse the threat of climate change. We have uh, 42 country chapters and over 10,000 members. And we're doing an amazing job. You will hear from us later with the best practices from our members. And this network has been reckoned by many as one of the most valuable network in order to promote the youth agenda within the climate change movement from the highest level at the UNFCCC into the processes within the UNEP activities and of course currently now at the ACPC CLIMDEF. Next. And uh, if you look at the slides over there, the picture, it, those were the founding members of AIC 2006 in, uh, in, in Nairobi, Kenya, and some of them are in the hall here today, people like Maurice Odera and, uh, you know, Laundry, who are here, they were the founding members of, uh, of AIC, and of course, UNEP played a very important role in, uh, in the founding of AIC, Greenpeace, and also uh, please, please, Trip please, of Hope. these were some of the founding members that supported the initiative, and ever then, you know, we've grown to this uh, level. Now, back to the topic, climate change, youth, and development. That's the biggest puzzle. Question. Let me just remind us that Article 11 of the African Youth Charter guarantees the right of youth participation in all major issues on the continent. And that includes, the, that includes climate change and said issues. And Article 19 of the same charter talks about the specific roles of young people within the protection of the environment and of course acting as environmental stewardship. Africa has a youthful population, that is a big cliche, we always say it all the time, that is true and we have to remind everybody here that it's true Africa has a very youthful population and uh, if given the opportunity we can transform Africa as uh, Mr. Thierry has talked about the transformative